video. And I know you were thinking, is he going to go live tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. So here I am in the place, decided to uh, grab a beer and go live before I jump over to the sports show tonight on the Eclectic Beer Channel, which will take place here at 9 Eastern. So hopefully uh, you guys will tune in there, especially if you're sports fans. As tonight, we're going to actually... Uh, do some bowl picking, I believe. So laying out our picks for the upcoming bowl games. And I'm not going to say they're all going to be right, but might do all right. I might, if you're looking to put some money down, might be able to help you out a little bit there, picking some of the teams. Hopefully everybody's having a great Tuesday evening. So the beer I'm getting into tonight is actually one from one of my local breweries from Braxton Labs. It is a tangerine milkshake. IPA, again, I tried to change the lighting yesterday. I need to switch it back over and see if it comes up here now. There you go. Tangerine milkshake IPA, a little bit better. Got to dim the lights a little bit from behind the camera. But this one is a milkshake IPA and ale with lactose. Tangerine Puri, vanilla beans. Comes in at 7% ABV, looking good there. The uh, date of this batch, 12 12 19 so right now we are on the 17th so yes this beer is only five days old so we're going to definitely get some nice freshness out of it cheers eerie what is going on welcome my friend always good to see you i'll be jumping over to your other half channel here at the top of the hour of course when we do the sports show dr Didi, what's going on long time what's going on cheers welcome back hopefully things are going well and uh, about to crack open this brew and talk about it a little bit. Give me one second. I'm gonna, this light is kind of brighter than I want it to be. So I'm going to dim this light down behind the camera some. Change the ambiance. I think that's a little bit better there. Yeah. And so that way, if anybody else comes up, you can see the can a little bit better there. But you can see the nice setup on the can. And for this one, I'm going to actually break out the Braxton Labs ice cream glass, as you can see here. And this should work well with a nice milkshake IPA. This is one they actually teamed up with Graders, one of our ice cream places, when they do what they uh, basically have been doing the last few years, like ice cream beers. So each year they get together with them and come out with the flavor. Um, they did it like a key lime, they did a, um, I want to say a blueberry something, I think too at one point. So some interesting things there for sure. Oh my goodness. I just cracked that can and tangerine just came out oh so easily. I got a feeling this baby's gonna be really good. Now Braxton Labs is part of Braxton Brewing here in Cincinnati and they do their small batch processing. So when the guys were down, we actually were over at Braxton Labs when we started the beer drinking. We met, we met there first before we went to Darkness and Streetside and uh, had a great time there. They really enjoyed the beers. Really nice uh, setup they have. Uh, see that half Jordan Green Lantern up there? Yeah, the Hal Jordan. Yeah, I got the Green Lantern up there. And uh, actually, you can't see it, but under the Black Panther, I actually have the Joker there as well, the one with uh, Joaquin Phoenix too on the wall. So a little bit of a, a comic book section here. Um, and I actually, in the other room, I got like a Daredevil collectible book as well. So I like getting into a lot of the uh, Marvel type stuff. Um, hey, what's happening? Meebel, Meebel, no, I mean, Nebel can see on my screen here. I got to get this a little bit bigger here. I'm like squinching down on the laptop. Let me give me one second here. That way it opens up a little bit better. Cheers. And uh, what's up, Todd? Cheers, my friend. Yeah, got a little Braxton Lab, so... I'm actually going to crack open that Tangerine Express. I ended up picking up the milkshake. Um, and hey, Vanessa, cheers. So, actually came out with about a finger head on it. It kind of went down to about a quarter finger here now. But look at this. It's just like a juice-looking beer. So, it should have a good amount of juiciness. The lactose should have a nice little bit of creaminess. Uh, fruitcake stout out there. Not really, I'd say, a fruitcake stout, but there are beers that do favor fruitcake. For instance, 
the Trogues Mad Alf that I just went through and I shared the video of the panel we had done, to me, you get a fruitcake feel off of that. So there are some ones out there that do give you a fruitcake feel. Oh my goodness. Tangerine. Nice amount of citrus coming off of here. You would almost think you're sniffing some type of orange juice here. You get a nice freshness from the hops. You just feel that greeniness of them. A little bit of that must I feel from fresh hops. Nice little sense of a tropic feel. Yeah, it is very bright. It's for a five day old milkshake IPA. The aroma is on point taste wise. Very juicy. A little bit of an astringency feel in there. Nice flavor. Easily get the tangerine. That creaminess from the lactose that I talked about would be there is right there. Slides down the throat. You get a little bit of a scratchiness in the throat from the hops because of them being so fresh. Nice duration of the flavor left behind. The juicy quality of it makes you feel like you're actually drinking more of a juice than anything. It's very nice. A little bit of a, uh, a tangish type feel to it as well. Tang the drink I'm talking about now, people. It's a very easy beer to chug, I'll tell you that. You can knock this out with no problem. Let me get some more back in the glass. I'm already half down it as it is. And I am glad I did pick this up. I tell you what, Braxton Labs is doing some great things with their small batch beers. Coming out with these type of things. You have to basically go there to get this type of stuff. Occasionally they'll let some stuff out in the stores around here. But damn, this shit is good. That is really good. Carbonation is on point, not over carbonated, but you get a little bit of that bubble feel. I got three more of those. I may end up chugging two of them at least. <laughs> they are just going down too easy. Uh, let me check comments here. Hey, Blake, what's going on, my friend? Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Just getting it in a little bit before we do the show here at 9. Blake TV, another great guy, great channel to check out. And Blake will be over on the Eclectic Beard at 9 o'clock when we do the uh, the sports talk. And if you haven't seen the Eclectic Board, Eclectic Beard channel, know where to go. On my community tab, I actually have a link that goes right to the video that we start at 9. So you can go right there. Or you can type in the Eclectic Beard. Todd said, what's up to Blake? Blake said, what's up to Todd? And Vanessa says, hi to Blake. Blake says, chug to me. <laughs> I want to savor this. This is the first one of them, so I just want to savor this one. But it's going down easily. If I'm not careful, I'll just chug right through it. And for those of you that don't know, Todd is one of my nemesis on PlayStation 4. We played some games against each other. Last night we played baseball, had them all game to the bottom of the eighth, left my pitcher in probably one inning too long, Todd caught on to him. I was up 3-0 and Todd pulled out a win, beat me 4-3. I couldn't get my reliever in the time because he wasn't warmed up yet, but uh, good game, Todd. You got the better of me yesterday. Um, Blake says, cheers, Vanessa. I hope everything went okay today. Yes, Vanessa. Hopefully... Everything went well today with the medical stuff you were handling and that uh, everything checked out the way it should. <laughs> Todd says, thanks for subscribing, Blake. I may have content at some point. We've been telling Todd to get a channel for the longest time as it is. Um, at least doing some stuff, maybe some grilling type things or he can do the beers. He has a bunch of stuff Todd can be doing. So we'll get him to do something at some point. 
Um, okay, I will get Eclectic open. Yeah, so, yeah, join us over for Eclectic at 9 o'clock. We'll have some fun. What's up, Throttle? Cheers. Um, Dr. DD, man, love the Manscaped. I'm about to make mine this year. Kids are leaving. All comics, anime, and Frazetta are nice. Yeah, it took, a, it took some time to get it the way that I wanted, so I was able to lay out different things here in the background. There's actually other pieces I want that I have nowhere to really put them from this angle, but I'm going to start a second one in the basement. I was going to do it a few months ago, didn't get around to it. Now it's going to be winter, so when spring comes around, when I shoot stuff from outside, I'll have a second spot down there, but I've got like an old school uh, Miller High Life mirror that you guys can't even see over to this side. I've got a big Corona mirror right here um, in front of me that you guys can't see. Um, I got some other stuff, posters down around the side. I've got a ton of bar stickers and all kinds of stuff. So it's just a matter of uh, getting more room. If I had more space back this way, I could broaden the camera out, and then you would see more of that stuff if I put it up. But it's all good, and I'll try to rotate some things in and out as I go as well. Uh, Throttle's at the pub, and he can't hear me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're at the pub. You're supposed to be socializing, Throttle. You're supposed to be mingling and stuff. But I like that you got me on at the pub. <laughs> but that's the pulse keeps beating effed up. Well, hopefully it's, uh, you know, hopefully it's not anything where it's in a bad uh, speed or whatever, a bad pace or whatever. And hopefully it actually uh, comes back down for you at some point here. Or they they basically tell you you're okay where you're at there. Uh, toss it, LOL, all luck. Nah, yeah, you, you got me. You you batted the ball around. You got me there, son. You got me that game. So, um, Vanessa, nice to DD. Todd, but thanks. It was a good game. Yeah, it was, it was a great game. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, I need to drive on the icy road tonight, so no drink to have to return or wait and call to go. Yeah, be careful out there because what we had come through here, you guys are getting in the next couple of days, um, or if not, maybe tomorrow even, heading your way. And it's supposed to be a lot worse for up where you guys are so definitely be careful hey paul cheers brother what's going on my friend oh paul finally got his hands on some top one goliath bruise well you're ahead of me on that then um looking forward i gotta catch up on your reviews paul though. i've been trying to catch up more and more with people as i'm going through so uh definitely want to look forward to that one there as well um uh, vanessa like the question game yeah it was it was fun and she said it made her chat too much lol no it, that's what it's supposed to do so it was very, um, very fun. It was very, um, it was a good way for people to actually interact. That's what I'm trying to say there. So people got involved. It opened up a lot of people. So yeah, we'll definitely do that again. Um, not sure when we do the next one, but I'm definitely down to have that up here some more. Uh, <laughs> Paul says, where will the chandelier wardrobe go? <laughs> I'd have to replace the ceiling fan above me to put the chandelier in, so. <laughs> uh, they can stick in a really cool Bluetooth gadget in there to make heart behave. Okay. Ice storm all night and into tonight. Wow. Yeah, you're getting some uh, some ugly stuff up there. Perseverance can get you far in life. Yeah, you never want to give up. You got to fight through, and uh, you can be rewarded for that perseverance for sure. Oh, I forget to say, so as far as my uh, personal rating on this one here, I probably, I'm going to give this one when I put it on my untapped, um, I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's really good. Um, I have to look at other stuff I've had from that kind of area that's not on that upper echelon, but it is a really good a good beer there laser lights there you go a mirror ball there you go those would be some things to put in here i could, I could get a lava lamp Paul's have a few beers for you oh uh i'll put the top one in there yeah well, I'm, that'd be freaking awesome um yeah just let me know and uh i get you some stuff down here too paul as well toss it gotta run gotta catch up on dvr with shannon cheers butter cheers enjoy this show I think you guys are still catching up on Watchmen and everything, too. And I said, bye, Todd. Say hi to Shannon for me. Yes, everybody says, say hi to Shannon. Shannon is a superstar. Don't tell her I said that, though. That'll go to her head. 
<laughs> so who else is uh, drinking a little bit out there right now? You can't put a mirror ball or laser lights up, Rod. Say something. <laughs> oh, that's funny, brother. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Juggalo? How you doing? Good to see you as well, my friend. Just here, just wrapped up a little look at one of the local beers I like to do in the early part of the video, and then now just kind of rocking it with the uh, the live stream right now. Um, before I go over to the Eclectic Beard here at 9 o'clock, and we'll do the uh, college football show, including the bowl picks for the upcoming bowl games and stuff. So that should be a pretty interesting show that we'll have over there. Um, of course, the playoffs, they start um, as well, so we'll be talking about that. Um, Vanessa Rob would be cool under a mirror ball. There you go. <laughs> What's up, Max Fake? Going to let that ride? <laughs> Blake, I don't drink, Rod J. Yeah, Blake, sure you don't. Sure you don't. <laughs> and he says hello to Juggalo. Um, well, hey there, Blake and Juggalo. Erie says, so she's in the house. Erie, are you on a kid patrol right now? Or are you watching the kids drinking some coffee? Uh, Vanessa said, yes, Thursday. Can't wait. I can wait to Thursday, Vanessa, because Thursday is our malt liquor show that we're doing. Our second malt liquor beer flow show. So I can wait until then. I actually picked up two old school malt liquors. Not going to say what they are. You have to watch on the show to see which ones I actually break out. Um... Shannon's already said highlight. She'll be doing the Mad Dog 2020 grape. Don't know what Todd's going to be drinking to Eric as of yet, but it can be a pretty interesting Thursday night. And uh, Juggalo said hello back to Blake. And too late she heard you. <laughs> Shannon, her, I'll never live that down then. <laughs> Paul said he's at work. We'll be drinking soon. I've been under weather, so no reviews until next week. Uh, hopefully you get better there, my friend. Yeah, you... uh. It kind of sucks when you get under weather because you can't really smell or you can't really taste. And so you don't want to do any reviews on it because you're not really giving a, a shot there. And you can't really enjoy the beer. Oh, Shannon gave me the I'm number one. I'm number one in the world. She gave me the number one sign. <laughs> Juggalo uh, said hello to Erie. And Blake says cheers back to Juggalo. Erie says, I am. And there's not enough coffee to handle the kids tonight. <laughs> Seems like your kids are all over the place. Um, I know Al was probably getting the banners and stuff ready for the sports show, so he probably left all three to you. So uh, Vanessa says she found a maple bourbon barrel A stout, the same one craft beers poured today. Um, and then PA said, I got the flu for my birthday. Well, that's not a good gift. That's a gift you would want to return. Nobody wants to get the flu on their birthday. Nobody wants to get the flu, period, but on your birthday, it's even worse. So we're almost a week out. Did everybody get their uh, Christmas shopping completed? Well, I guess we are a week out because a week from today is the 24th, and that's Christmas Eve. Anybody else running out this weekend? A late run for Christmas gifts? Anybody want to hint at what they would like to get for Christmas? Uh, next time, wave all your fingers at me. <laughs> No, just the one is fine. I mean, Shannon's just saying I'm number one. I mean, you know. <laughs> Anybody have to travel this upcoming week to go out of town for Christmas? To go visit family anywhere? Or airports will be kind of uh, not the place to be, but driving could be kind of crazy as well. That was meant for Rod, not you, Miss Kitty. Oh. <laughs> I know you were telling me I was number one, Shannon. I got it. I know you were telling me I was number one. <laughs> a winning season. Oh, Blake. Wish upon a star, my friend. Well, you got next next season. You know, depends who your coach is, maybe some of your players. Or you can just say, hey, we're going to go for basketball. Basketball season might be better for Arkansas than football was. I'll be buying late for my wife. The kids are taking care of, LOL. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, an electric all-grain system. That would that would be a nice one to get there. Do some nice home brewing. I need to actually uh, 
do some more hop videos. Now that you mentioned that, uh, DD, I, uh, I did one a few weeks ago. I need to get some more stuff up there. Just sharing some different hops for people that homebrew and things they might want to look at using. Vanessa said, at least put a little flag on that figure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go for basketball, right? Go for the Arkansas basketball. I don't know what your guys are projected to do this year, but it can't be worse than football for sure. Um, back in the day, though, like I said, back when Nolan Richardson had that team back in the 90s, the, the uh, four minutes of hell, back with Scotty Thurman in there, that team was just off the chain. 0 and 1 are extremely important in math. Or 0 and 1, yeah? Well, that's your binary system, too. I will see you Thursday as well, Shannon. Don't forget, Shannon, Vanessa's reading. <laughs> or say, screw football and go fishing, Blake. <laughs> that could be it, too. I think Blake needs to go out and do a noodling video. I think Blake noodling would be hilarious. All right, Todd, leave it for this time. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Blake says, hell yeah, Juggalo. Uh, Vanessa said, go Patriots. You mean the Spytriots? Apparently, I don't know why the Patriots would ever spy on the Bengals, but it's kind of funny that they got their guy got busted for spying, and it was against the Bengals, the worst team in the league. Had to add that. <laughs> um, what's up, Swami? Jumping around channel, channel, my friend. Cheers to you, brother. It's been a while since we chatted. Hope all is good. I know the whiskey you got is good, so. Zero and one in algebra. Who else enjoyed watching Cotton get his jaw busted on Saturday? I didn't get a chance to watch that fight, but... Uh, I saw some of the highlights, and I did like it. <laughs> if I didn't learn last week what Noodle was, I would have freaked out right then. <laughs> yeah, I knew we, we, we talked about what Noodle was to prepare you for that, but uh, <laughs> we would have told you, Blake, you don't fish with that part if you're noodling. Brady will quit the team this year, I think. Well, he's like 42, so. Drew Brees, I guess, just got the all-time passing record last night. And I don't think Brady's going to be able to catch him. I think he's behind him, but I think Brees might be younger than Brady. So. But good for Drew Brees. Cheers, everyone. Smash that like button. Thank you, Blake. Uh, noodle and catfish. Yeah, so noodle in is when you're catfishing. But you're basically reaching in with your hand into the uh, catfishing, I don't know what it is, nest or the hole where the catfish, catfishing are. They bite your hand and you pull them out that way. So no rod or reel. Basically hand fishing. Hey, so Tweety, cheers, my friend. Hopefully all is well. Ultimate was badass, yeah. From everybody, there's a lot of people that are pumped up about it. And of course, uh, the other dude that ran his mouth a little bit. So it was kind of nice he got put on his ass. <laughs> oh, and then uh, Blake says cheers to So Tweety, and so does Juggalo. And make sure you guys check out So Tweety and her traveling videos as well. If you haven't been to So Tweety's channel, she has videos up from different things from traveling. So make sure you hit those buttons next to her name or those dots and see what she's up to. And make sure you check out, in fact, Make sure you check out Malta de Montreal. If you're a whiskey fan or a spirit fan, and Malta does some beers as well up in Canada, you can check the dots next to his name and also check him out. He's always got some entertaining stuff on his channel, Blake TV. It's Blake, so you know Blake's always entertaining. So just automatically, if you're not on Blake's channel yet, hit those dots next to his name. Hit the dots next to Juggalo, doing the fishing type things. Cool cat. We were actually on one of the streams um, a few weeks back. Make sure you check him out, too. Um, I'm also blame Dana trying to turn the UFC into WF. Yeah, he's definitely got that kind of angle working. But, it, I mean, it can work for MMA, but I don't know. It's uh, I still, I still got to love more for boxing than I do for MMA, even though boxing has its own issues. 
Yeah, and then he ran out. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, you should see this catfish size in Texas. You cannot survive their noodle season. Well, they do noodle down in Texas. I think that was one of the spots when they do, like, on uh, some of the noodling shows they used to have that they were in Texas. Rooting a real sport and turning it into bullshit. You know, well, that's capitalism. <laughs> That is what tends to happen. Things do get ruined that way. It's part of money getting involved. And also, if you haven't checked out PA Brew News, make sure you check out Paul again. If you're a fan of like art as well, he does some really good painting as well as the beer review stuff that he does. So always entertaining to check his channel out. Whiskey Throttle. I don't know if, Whis if Throttle's still here or not. He was at the pub, but... Here's another good whiskey guy that you can check out to see some of the things that he's actually doing in his channel with the whiskey. And then uh, DD, check out. And everybody else, say, check out everybody. Everybody. Everybody got dots next to their name. Hit the dots. See what's going on. See what their channel's like. See what's happening. All about the socializing and everybody sharing what they're doing. And then Vanessa as well. She says find her on Instagram. She does more on the Instagram channel. And if you're looking to ever construct some things or find out how to build some things, Vanessa's where you're going. She's built the fire pit. She's going to have a forge. She's got all this other stuff happening. Uh, she just made leather cup holders. Check out Vanessa's ch uh, Instagram channel as well. I have hit three dots on everyone, I think. Well, there you go, Vanessa. Uh, Malt Swami said, where's Thrash Metal? What's the bait again? I haven't seen Thrash in a bit. <laughs> I have to go back and see what video you guys actually got into the debate there where you kind of put them on edge, I guess. <laughs> People go crazy on YouTube sometimes. Um, you know, Blake was saying cheers to everyone as well. Blake said hashtag capitalism, right? It's, you know, it's what money does. Money goes into it. It's like movies. We make sequels to the ruins of the damn movie chain. Speaking of movies, is anybody going to see the new Star Wars movie? Doesn't that come out this week? You do. <laughs> you can't. Uh, wasn't it on Thrash's channel? <laughs> Workshop Foundation build in April. Nice. Yeah, I think it's this weekend the latest Star Wars movie comes out. I don't even know what the name of it is, but I'm sure people will be going to see it. <laughs> Well, if you just said Bernie Sanders on his channel, that's like throwing a throwing a match on gasoline, probably. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I got the OG Joe D in the house. I give Joe D shit all the time by not watching my stuff, and Joe D is in the house. I am honored to have the OG actually checking in. If you guys don't know Joe D, you guys definitely need to hit the dots on his. Saturday night, he has the streams on his channel that uh, I need to get back over there with you guys. But uh, Joe D was one of the first guys I started watching when I started looking into doing beer stuff. Um, and been pleased ever since. Cool Cat out in Arizona. If you ever have a question about Oreos, Joe D's the man because he gets Oreo stuff that I have no idea where he even gets it from. He put a picture on Instagram today and it was Oreo coffee. I didn't even know Oreo had a coffee flavor out there, but he had a cup of coffee next to the Oreo coffee uh, brand. So definitely check out Joe D. He is an all-time all old-school baller for sure. Um, oh, Swami said it was, it was on your channel. Okay. <laughs> uh, Vanessa said I was teaching Flat Earthers about map making a few months ago. How did that go, Vanessa? Was that like just laying down a cover like on a dining room table? Because it's all just flat and that's it. And they're like, that's the earth. So I'm like, how'd you, how'd it go with uh, educating them about the earth? Star Wars Niner? Um, that's not the name of the movie though. Or maybe you typo that. Yeah, Oreo Hot Chocolate is what, uh, well, that's said coffee, but Oreo Hot Chocolate. I don't even see any, like, half the flavors that Joe puts up on his Instagram. I don't even get to see. Although I did have the Oreo peanut butter a couple months ago, and that was actually pretty good. 
I'm still, I'm still kind of partial to the birthday cake. I like that one as well. Vanessa says I must leave at 9. Well, I will be leaving a little bit before 9 because I have to go to the Eclectic Beer Channel that starts at 9 so we can do the college football sports show. And if you guys haven't seen it again, the Eclectic Beard or on my community tab is set there. So you can just click and go right to that one for 9 o'clock as well. No, I asked why they think an ice wall. As long as... But, wait a minute, hold on. Now I asked... Why do you think an ice wall of as long as bottom of Earth? Hmm. Swami, you hate the mandolin? Everybody I know that... That's the Force Awakens. That's what it is, I believe. Everybody I know that saw the mandolin seems to enjoy it. I thought it'd be kind of cool. It looks like a sci-fi western, which I love. I love westerns. So I would actually look to check that out if I had Disney+. Plus. I'm not sure if I'm going to get Disney Plus, at least not yet. Um, although I'm a huge Marvel person, as you can see by some of the comic stuff here on the wall. Um, I just don't know if I want another streaming service. Everybody's got you streaming nowadays. Blake says, sup, Joe D. Nice to meet you, sir. Blake, that's the OG right there. Joe D. is the man. And uh, Dr. Farnsworth, Stouts are life. Yeah, Stouts are good. I, I read a poll yesterday. And asked people when they, what they wanted me to try to do last night. And everybody said a stout for the most part. Um, so I did a stout last night. Tonight I just grabbed the milkshake IPA though. To give that baby a whirl. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Erie said just started to snow. You're not supposed to get snow there Erie. You're in South Carolina. It's supposed to be nice. When you guys get snow forget about going to work the next day. <laughs> Paul just said his shit talking about the Mandalorian. Dude, you're like the only one that I've seen that has not liked that show thus far. Um, a, flat map, a flat map of Earth shows the Antarctic is a long section of white. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, Joe says Mandalorian is just okay, not great. Well, okay. And yeah, I know, so Tweety. You said Belgium, and they outvoted you. They, I was pulling for you. I would have loved to have done a Belgium last night. But they were pulling. You know what I'm going to do though this week? At some point, I can't do it tonight because I'm going to be going on Alan's show. Maybe tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. Tomorrow I will do the Golden Drop 9000. If you went so Tweety, that's a nice Belgian ale. I've never done a review on that on the channel. So if you're going to be around tomorrow night, let me know and I'll do that one just for you there. Uh, nope, I was wrong. The, oh, the Rise of Skywalker. There's so many of them now, and it's just like. And I guess the old ones, which were the first ones, are now kind of like seen as the new hope and something like that and everything. And it's like, it gets confusing. Cutie's in the house. <laughs> and Erie says, what's up, Cutie? And Vanessa says, I hope folks here know why. Um, I've also said, so much Baby Yoda. Yeah, apparently Baby Yoda's like a big thing right now. Everybody's trying to get Baby Yoda. That's like the hot Christmas gift to get right now. They had that on the NBC News tonight, like people trying to track it down. Yeah, let's see. Typo met show. And plus no jetpack. <laughs> he doesn't it's early on, doesn't have the jetpack yet. That's all. <laughs> Vanessa likes the Mandalorian. Like the theme music. Uh call it number nine. Stagnant beer and eating raw meat deserves a courtesy flush. Thoughts? Well, if you're the president of our country, you're supposed to flush the toilet like 10 to 15 times now. So I don't even know what that's all about. Tomorrow. So you're here tomorrow. I'll make a note. So Tweety that tomorrow I will do the Golden Drop 9000 review for you. And Joe said, baby Yoda is cute though. <laughs> Isn't it just like a Muppet though? Like what Muppets aren't cute, right? So... All right, I made a note. I've got it right here. Tomorrow, Golden Drop 9000 will be the beer that I will do a review on. Um, I went spot the robot from Boston Dynamics. Yeah, as you said, he went spot to come serve you and everything. 
And Juggalo says, sub to Cutie. And Joe, the Series C on Apple TV Plus was good. I haven't heard of that one. I tell you what, I just got done watching Watchmen. They had the season finale this week. That's my my favorite show of the year. That's my f- top show of the year that I actually watched on anything. TV, Netflix, whatever. That show was just probably my favorite. And it might just be the end of it. There might not be a season two because it might just go out like the way it went out, which a lot of people are cool with. I want to see more of it, but, you know, it was so solid all season long. And that's why I would not be watching the Golden Globes because the Golden Globes didn't give it any nominations whatsoever. And people were like stunned and shocked by that. Uh, Alan's in the house eclectic. Cheers, cutie. What's up, Alan? Getting ready to come over to your spot here in a little bit. But, uh, but telling people to jump over to your channel so we can uh, do the football stuff. Getting ready, getting hyped up, getting pumped, getting my bowl pick straight in my head. Uh, let me show this year was Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, Watchmen. That's what I said, Swami. Yeah, Watchmen was the bomb this year. It was a uh, great. It did better than I thought it was going to do. And I was a big fan of the movie. And I just love how it went to a next level from there. Uh, they keep dropping Baby Yoda. It's a wonder he doesn't have battle scars on his head. <laughs> well, maybe they drop him so much. And that's why. His sentence formations are the way they are, you know, where he puts the verb after like the noun or the pronoun, whatever it's supposed to be, the way he talks. He had too many, he's got CTE, he had too many head injuries. Can't wait for the boys season two. Yeah, see, I got to finish the first season. That might, that, that, I watched the first couple episodes and that was really good, but I got thrown off on other stuff and that could easily be a, a top show as well, I think, from what I saw. Uh, Zima talk coming soon. Why, why would there be Zima talk? There should never be Zima talk. <laughs> well, hey there, my love. You are late to the party, Al. <laughs> Erie says. <laughs> Erie, you're supposed to tell Alan when I'm on. Apparently, you didn't tell him when I was on again. Um, spot serve me. Spot and I would go hunting to, on hunting trips together. There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, Didi said, yeah, Watchmen was great. Uh, I think Zima talk is needed. Erie, I don't even know why you're throwing Zima out there. You already got Alan drinking seltzers. We're not going into Zima now. <laughs> Cutie said I had fun earlier, guys. Uh, because HBO didn't send the Golden Globes to check. Right? <laughs> no, they get a lot of nominations, though. HBO was like one of the leaders every year. Um, I just don't know. It's like, and that's kind of, kind of come under some criticism about them getting missed this year. Uh, Alan said he had some fun, too. Enjoyed the hell out of it, buddy. Shaking Yoda syndrome. There you go. SYS. Shaking Yoda syndrome. Uh, Cutie has silenced beard. I'm doing my banners for the show now. This one will be a bit longer and more in depth, in my opinion. Well, yeah, I mean, what do we got? Like 30 bowl games we got to talk about? So, not to mention the playoffs and other stuff that's probably happening. What stream is next? I will listen while I drive north. Next will be the eclectic beard. At 9 o'clock, so you want to jump on his stream. That's where we're going to be talking all the college stuff. Well, we start off with college football. From there, it can go anywhere. It just depends how it gets, how crazy it gets while we're all doing stuff on that channel. Uh, just finished Season 2 of Jack Ryan on Amazon before I jumped on here. What did you think about that one, Joe? Because um, it looks kind of good, but I, I can't. I always have trouble getting over the guy that's playing Jack Ryan being Jim from The Office. But people say he does a good acting job on it. Uh, dropped on my head a lot, Chuckle. <laughs> no shaky baby Yoda. Um, I had the heathens, is what Erie said. <laughs> the malt with the white claw. <laughs> Joe said Zima thumbs down. <laughs> I'm on the shitter having an MGD review. <laughs> Sup, beard. Uh, 30 bowl games and early signing day on Wednesday, right? And then cheers at Malted uh, from Allen as well. Yeah, we've got players that are all jumping into the transfer portals also. Um, It's that time of year where some players are opting to go to other schools, uh, taking the red shirts, all that kind of stuff. It'll be interesting to see if there's any players that do decide to sit out from any of the bowl games, making a business career and not wanting to get hurt, right? So...
for some of them it is now about getting to the next level and making those dollars and uh if you're going to some i don't know pinstripe bowl you might not want to play because you might have money on the line so it'll be interesting to see i did get my one pick right last weekend it was only one game it was navy army it wasn't like it was a hard game to choose but i did take navy in that one Uh, I was born with two buttholes. <laughs> Diapers are expensive. <laughs> well, I guess you'd have to double up then with the diapers. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah, so. Uh, all I seen was Jim 2, but good show. And LMAO, House of the Cutie, yeah. <laughs> Cutie's in here with the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny went to a game in Dallas this past Sunday. Did you go, you went to the Cowboys game? What did you think of it, Joe? Hey, dads, what's going on, my friend? Cheers, buddy. I, I was going to try to get in your review the other night, and I didn't get a chance. I think you did a live stream, and it might have been around 11 or midnight, and I just couldn't hang out that long. But uh, another good channel to check out. Dad's Incredible Barbecue Beer and More. If you haven't been over there, you got beer, you got barbecue, and you got more. What else can you need, right? So make sure you check his channel out. And that was a funny skit you did where you were basically doing different videos spliced in on yourself all around the house. I got a kick out of watching that video. Yeah, very impressive stadium, very costly stadium. That TV in the middle is huge. They say a lot of punters try to hit it on purpose because it's, it hangs just low enough that they, they hit it or whatever. I guess it uh, restarts the down or like that, but it's kind of like, I don't know why they try to target it, but they do say they try to hit that, that TV when they punt. Yeah, my in-laws are right there in Fort Worth, so never went to a Dallas game, but they live like 15 minutes from where a stadium is. Anyone know when Mindhunter starts again? No, and that's another show I want to get into. Um, is Mindhunter, but I haven't had a chance to watch that one. I did start watching Black Mirror, but have not been able to uh, get back into watching that again. I like to do handstands, take a shit, Golden Corral, and Pink. <laughs> Why don't you get to your comments, cutie? <laughs> Mindhunter, I heard a lot of good things about that show, and uh, definitely do want to check that out at a point. And Netflix has some decent shows. There was concern with them losing some of their shows to Disney with the Marvel stuff if they'd have enough to hold together, but I think they're still putting out some good stuff out there. They're actually making... I never saw the one movie with Will Smith that bright, but they're making a bright two as a sequel to that, so I guess the first one did okay. I kind of do want to see that new Adam Sandler movie, though, that Uncut Gems at some point. Yeah, I, I definitely, if that's my, my wife actually watched it. She told me I need to watch that one. She said I would definitely enjoy that show. Was telling me there's probably some bizarre, freaky shit happening because that's what I'm usually down with. <laughs> Three episodes into the Watchmen, dope. Yeah, it's, we were just talking about that earlier, Dad. That's, that's my favorite show of the year was Watchmen that I've seen thus far. Truth be told, Apple TV is good too. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's kind of like, do you uh, do you have to have? I mean, you don't have to have an Apple for an Apple TV Plus. You can just stream it on your any computer, I guess, or whatever. You just have to get the streaming service, and uh, I may have to look into that Apple too because I do see some interesting commercials for some of their shows that come up. I really don't even need to keep cable. I don't even know why we keep it. My wife wants to keep it, but it's like. Most of the time, I'm on the computer or on my phone watching other stuff. She's actually on her phone right now watching stuff either on Hulu or Netflix. And it's like, why do we need the cable TV again? We might as well just cut that baby. I met my dad's on the stream today. <laughs> yeah, some good stuff out there. But... I am actually 
going to go ahead and wind it down. Great to have everybody here. Another great stream. Love having you guys in and having some fun going through all the different things here. Yeah, Yellowstone's another one. So I've got season two of Yellowstone. Actually, I've got that queued up, and I need to watch it. Um, I didn't get around to watching it because I was going to watch it at one. The show they got me also hooked this year was uh, Mayans. So I was hooked into the Mayans MC. And so I never went back to finish watching Yellowstone, but I am going to watch that season two. And actually, that might come into play next week when I'm off around Christmas and everything. I may have to uh, to pull that up. So I'm glad you said that, Joe, because I do need to watch that. But uh, I am going to uh, jump over to the Eclectic Beard. Uh, i got to get another beer, but we're going to be going live at 9 o'clock. If you haven't been to his channel... He was here in the chat. You can hit the three uh, dots next to his name. Check him out. If you're a fan of college football, we'll be talking about that tonight. But he's got one of the great channels. Um, if you're in the trucks, he's got one of the greatest breakdowns out there that have been going through some of the uh, the new truck from um, Elon Musk and Tesla. He has some great videos discussing that. He has some great conversation with that versus some of the Ford and other trucks out there. If you're a truck fan, you're looking at trucks, you like to drive trucks, I would definitely highly recommend go ahead and subscribe to the Eclectic Beard as well and check out some of the uh, the truck video and stuff too. So I'm going to go ahead, get this down. Thanks everyone again for jumping in. Hey Dolly, what's going on? We're going over to Allen's Eclectic Beard, Dolly. If you want to join us over there, so we're going to talk a little college football and appreciate everybody coming in. Look forward to uh, seeing you guys next time. And then tomorrow night, I will be back with another stream, probably around 8.39, depending. And I'm going to be doing the uh, Golden Drop 9000 as a request there for So Tweety. So make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you're notified when I'm actually live. And I will catch up with you at that time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.